Hi everyone. So today we're going to read another book and this book is about light and darkness. Now this is a really special book because it's a little different. What do you notice about the cover? I'm going to show you some of the pages. What do you notice that's different about this book? So this book has no color. It's only in black and white. So the light part shows the light and the dark part will be the darkness. And this is a cool book because we get to read it two ways. We're gonna read it forwards and then we're gonna read it backwards, you'll see. So it's called Round Trip by Ann Jonas. We started out as soon as it was light. Our neighborhood was quiet, the houses dark, the sun shone on the pond. The town was empty and the stores were still closed. We passed a small farm in the valley and fields of wheat. We counted the cars on the train. Do you wanna count the train cars together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen parts of the train. The road wound through the mountains and trails led into the woods. On the highway, we headed for the coast. So through the story, I want you to pay attention to what are the things that are black and what are the things that are white. The water was rough and the waves were high. We followed the shore past marshy inlets and summer cottages. Then we saw the city. What color are the buildings in this page? We crossed a bridge. And we were there. Look at all the tall buildings we see. And look really closely. What do you think these white squares are in the building? After parking the car, we rode the subway. Then we went to a movie. And to tap off the tallest building, we looked down. We watched as the sun set. Time to turn around. Okay, now this is the fun part. We get to turn the book upside down and we're gonna read the words that are now on the bottom. So there are words on the bottom and the top. I have to turn it around. Okay, so let's look now. We're gonna go back to read the book, how the pictures changed, okay? The sky was dark. Lights came on all over the city. Back on the street, we looked up at where we had been. Then we had dinner in a restaurant. So remember what it was before? Before it was a movie theater, but now it turns into a restaurant. And picked up our car from the garage.
Then we left the shining Starlit City. So before the buildings were black, right? And the sky was light. And now the sky is dark and the buildings are white. In the country, telephone poles line the road. We looked back, searchlights pierced the sky. We saw fireworks and stopped to watch. As the smoke from the fireworks drifted away and the birds resettled in the trees, we drove on. We went under an expressway Lightning flashed across the sky. It rained hard and puddles formed. We passed smoky factories. We took the tunnel under the river. I see a word that we learned. It says S-T-O-P. Does anyone remember what that spells? S-T-O-P. That spells stop. And soon saw our moonlit street. Home again. That was a really cool book because we got to read it two different ways. So now for your project, I want you to make your own black and white picture, kind of like how the story had different pictures in black and white. So think about what kind of picture you, you want to make. And you could use white paper and cut out black pictures, or you can use black paper and cut out white pictures on it. Have fun.